Salam alaikum, brick lovers! Welcome to the second episode of my Middle Eastern build series in which I am building a medieval mosque. As you should know from the previous episode, this is going to be a part of a collaboration build I am making with my lagmates from Zbuduimuto that will be displayed on an exhibition in December. And what changed since the last episode? I gotta say that I've managed to make some significant progress in the last two weeks and the whole idea that I had is starting to take shape. Of course, it still needs a lot of work and some new bricks, but I'm liking the way it's going and I hope you will too. But before I show you what I made for this episode, let's start a bit different than usual and jump into showing you the few bricks I had to order for this episode. I know that the previous hole was a big one, but I was still missing some key elements I will need to finish what I've started. So, what did I got this time? First of all, I needed to get a few arches that I didn't get in the project support. So, we have here 20 of these tan one-sided arches, 10 of the 1x3 one ones, and a couple of medium nougat 1x3x2 for decoration. Next are some generic tan bricks and plates that I started to run out of like these Technic bricks and some 2x6 plates. As I showed you last time, I will be building decorative towers called minarets, so here I got some parts for those like a couple of cylinders, domes, a few Technic gears for decorations and finally two of those cone shaped drills that I will be using for finishing the minarets from the top. I also got some white corner pieces for them, since I want to switch the pattern a bit to make it a bit more interesting. And finally, I got some tan window pieces for the main building, a couple trans blue parts for the fountain, and this little blue bird to place somewhere on the mock. So there you have it. Not much parts, but for sure I will make at least one more order, because I'm still missing a few key elements. Now switching to the actual progress on the mock. As you can see I've started making the building itself and I have to say that I'm starting to really like how it's turning out to be. First I made the side aisles that will be surrounding the courtyard from three sides. Starting with the walkway I made with a bunch of dark orange masonry bricks placed sideways which gives a nice pavement texture around the courtyard. I surrounded them with 10 ingot pieces that I'm using all around the build to make the walkway stand out even more from the rest. Above, the technique for the arches couldn't be simpler. I just placed a couple of those newer 1x2x2 arch pieces next to each other and that's enough to make it look pretty good. To add some more details, I took some of those 1x1 curved slopes in medium nougat and placed them under the small arches with adds a nice pattern to the wall above the arches. And since I've used most of these slopes here, I made a different pattern from the outside using dark turkey's tooth pieces and a bunch of white quarter circle dots. And I think that looks not bad at all, especially that it should look good next to the white and turkey's mosaic that will cover at least a part of the courtyard. Having the aisles from two sides, I attempted to make the mosque building itself starting with a huge doorway in the middle and parts of the walls behind the walkways. The walls themselves are a pretty simple design with a couple of windows in the middle of the outside arches and decorated from the top with a couple of these modified tan bricks and a few boomerangs. I've decided to make the wall thicker so that the windows would have more depth to them and I've placed 1x2 trans yellow plates as stained glass. From the inside it looks a bit more complicated because not only I wanted to show negative studs on the windows, but also play a bit with their color to fit the overall color scheme. So I made this little contraption with the yellow plates placed on trans blue bricks. Now going back outside, in the middle I've decided to continue the color combination of tan and medium nougat and made the inner layer of the doorway standing out from the outer wall. As for the walls themselves, I didn't want them to be too smooth, so I used a combination of regular and masonry bricks, just like on the sides, which looks way better than just a plain wall. 
To make things even more interesting, I've added a few decorative elements made from a mix of tooth and clip parts. And I'm kinda happy with the way it looks. And I especially like the detail made out of a tan egg in the center, with a frame of sorts made by these half arch pieces and medium nougat bricks behind it. Looking up, you shouldn't get too attached to how the dome is looking at the moment, because I've just placed it here temporarily. Yes, the dome will be made using this planet piece, but the whole building is going to be even taller and a bit different in structure. The inspiration for the main building is this mosque at Kiran, which was one of the earliest Islamic temples dating to around 860 AD. Anyway, the main building still requires a lot of work, but I'm hyped for continuing the building as soon as I get this video ready. As for the courtyard, I haven't made a lot of progress here, since I'm leaving this for the end. I just made the front part using the tiles I got and finished the stairs all around. I'm still not quite sure how the whole mosaic will look like. Maybe besides the white and turquoise mosaic, I will make some part of it with a snot technique. We'll see. The whole build is coming along actually quicker than I expected, so maybe by the next episode we'll have most of it completed. So I'm thinking one more work in progress episode and then the finale. It all depends on how much time will I find for actual building and if I'll need to order some more parts on Bricklink. Now my friends, it's time for you to let me know how do you like the build so far. The comment section is open to your feedback and ideas for the rest of the mock. And if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't done that yet. I make a lot of different team builds, so everyone should find something interesting on my channel. I will hopefully see you in the next part of this build series, and until then remember to stay safe and keep it bricking.